Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to talk about what is cloud identity. So cloud identity is the identity provider for Google Cloud. It is uh, the identity as a service solution that power of Google Workspace and it stores and manages digital identity for Google Cloud users to secure the data and secure the user access to Google Cloud platform. So mainly we are working um, in multiple environment and working in collaboratively uh, with the customers, partner, vendor, stakeholder. So multiple uh, kind of users, different organization user, different locations, device. Uh, we are connecting to our Google Cloud platform. So the concern is here, how we can secure the uh, data, how we can secure the user, how we can secure the application. So that's why so Google uh, launched one product that is called Cloud Identity. So identity is nothing but it is a authentication process to allow securely uh, to Google Cloud platform. So let me uh, explain a little bit more about uh, the practical thing so google workspace for example you have a google workspace customers and you have uh, the environment so if you don't have then uh, how you do the next i'll explain i mean i have already explained one i have created one video if you don't have a google workspace uh, um, uh, customers then how to create and how to do that so I'll just uh, uh, refer you uh, that uh, link to check uh, what the process is needed to create an organization. So once you created organization and validated by Google, then you can able to log in through admin.google.com. This is the Google Workspace URL. As soon as you log in with your user ID and password, and this is the organization name uh, for example for me advikaapp.com is my organization or domain right so if you don't have you have to create one so as soon as you log into uh, your uh, google workspace then uh, google workspace you have to uh, i mean you have a users and you have a groups and you have org units if you don't have you have to create if you need then how the cloud identity this is the main topic which i am talking about cloud identity so cloud identity is nothing but this is the authentication process of users groups and uh, any uh, as you can see any third party uh, device and third party application users uh, all that how we can uh, authenticate uh, through cloud identity once you uh, uh, allow through i mean um, uh, cloud identity option how we can enable then uh, once you enable then it will uh, sync up with uh, uh, google cloud platform so in google cloud platform uh, you have to log in with the console.cloud.google.com so this is the url and uh, same it will reflect whatever organization you had created uh, that will reflect in google cloud uh, um, platform as well once you are or uh, uh, once you log in into the uh, google cloud platform then what you have to do there is some identity access management or identity and organization we need to set up so that i'll show you in demo how to set up and how to enable uh, all the checklist uh, is needed to run your Google Cloud uh, platform and you can able to provision the resource and I mean how the IAM policy is also enforced like um, who, what and where so who is nothing but the user groups and the service account and domain so these are the uh, uh, users uh, which you can provide the rule 
to Google Cloud Platform or on Google Cloud Platform that is Identity Access Management Rule. So that I'll create one separate video and we'll talk about a little bit more on this topic. How the policy is enforced, how identity access management rule is applied in granularity way and what are the rule is needed for each and every layer. I mean uh, who should have or level admin, who should have the billing admin, account admin, who should have the folder admin and who can able to perform the uh, activity in Google Cloud Platform. So this is the uh, you know high level overview and I hope you can able to understand why uh, cloud identity is needed and how it is sync up with Google Workspace and Google Cloud Platform. This is very much important. So if you clear about how Google Workspace and Google Cloud Platform sync up with each other uh, then how it is working so then I mean now uh, you can much uh, clear idea about how you can perform and all. so now what I'll do I'll show you the demo uh, so this is the demo time I'll show you the demo how the uh, things is working so let's go ahead and uh, do that uh, okay so in this demo uh, let me show you uh, whatever I explained so I'll show you in demo so this is the Google Workspace uh, URL. So let me log in. So <coughs> as soon as you log in, so navigate to this page, and uh, so once you log in, then what you'll do? Now uh, you'll just click on billing and uh, click on get more get more service. So then uh, the cloud identity option uh, will come, just click on cloud identity. So uh, the option cloud identity and cloud identity premium. So uh, actually I have configured and enabled. So that's why uh, it is showing. So if you are a first time login, then uh, the option will come to enable the cloud identity. And uh, that's the part to enable in uh, Google Workspace to enable the cloud identity. But the other part uh, in cloud Google Cloud Platform. So let me uh, log in into Google Cloud Platform. So what is the URL? So the console dot cloud dot google dot com is the URL to log in Google Cloud Platform. So once you log in, what you will do? Just click on navigation menu. Then uh, after that, you click on IAM and admin. So in IAM and admin, there is a option identity and organization. So as soon as you click, uh, this is the uh, process to set up your uh, identity. So <coughs> as you uh, see, couple of uh, information is also in display over here. Use the Google Cloud setup checklist to set up Google Cloud for scalable production ready enterprise workload. By completing the checklist and the administrator of your organization can do the following. So only who can uh, able to set up those who are administrator. So already uh, I had created one organization and I have a workspace. So ultimately now uh, so uh, let me show you I am an administrator so I can able to do that. So let me show you that. So as you can see uh, here. This is the organization administrator as you can see i am a organization administrator so i can able to perform and set up the identity and organization then uh, the next the manage user account and group for employee so where you will create users and group so you will create group and users here let me show you uh, and one two video i have created how to create users and how you will create a group and that group would it will reflect in Google Cloud Platform, right? So, uh, uh, yeah. So this is the user and group. So uh, you will create here user. Uh, I mean, you can check my video I have created how to create user and group. Then it will map with Google Cloud uh, Platform. So here uh, that part done. User creation, group creation. 
then create organization structure and centrally control all of your organization projects and resources so organization already created what is my organization my organization is uh, let me show you the advika.app.com this this is a domain and this is called organization so this is uh, my organization the organization which i have created already so the next part i'll create the resource i mean folder and project and all so i'll create uh, in the next video how to create in, uh, folder how to create project then uh, configure the security part so as soon as you click go and check please so it will display what are the options like um, user and groups and administrative access so for example you click on users and groups so it will display so administrative access these are the main access uh, rule is required to perform the respective area for example those who are control billing control so billing administrator uh, rule i will have to provide uh, to them those who are networking administrator i have to provide the network administrator uh, access uh, rule to them those who are monitoring administrator logging administrator so with respect to the uh, department i'll provide the uh, rule then uh, so set up a billing so you have to as you can see i have set up already billing so you also set up your billing with your uh, if you are a first time user so you set up with your billing with your uh, card then credit card or whatever you have the process you can follow then the hierarchy uh, hierarchy access i mean the resource hierarchy you have to maintain like uh, set up uh, resource hierarchy uh, folder group uh, project all uh, we have to create then the networking so i have i have to create network so uh, so uh, if you are going to provision a network pj needed for that then centralize login how to configure this is the process and deploy your uh, download uh, you can check and review monitoring this is the option how to do what to do security uh, how to enforce security enable security command center trust board also uh, one more video i'll create uh, command center uh, dashboard how it is controlling our uh, everything is controlling in our command center whatever we are doing that every uh, security law pool is uh, quickly it will display in command center dashboard security command center dashboard then uh, the support part like uh, if you uh, I, i mean support is already needed because uh, if something goes wrong in your uh, platform then if you are not able to do it so maybe support is needed so you can choose your plan which plan you are taking for your support so these are the basic uh, things is needed to set up your uh, cloud identity so what we uh, did uh, so uh, what we uh, know today so how, what is cloud identity that i explain and cloud identity uh, in google workspace how enable uh, cloud identity and it is sync up with the uh, google cloud platform in google cloud platform how we will uh, set up uh, the, uh, the what is the query project or what is the checklist is needed to uh, start your google cloud platform activity and uh, the iem part i will create a separate video for how the identity access policy how identity access management rule is enforced in the organization and resource hierarchy so login with uh, this console then this is my resource hierarchy so i will create video one by one so the organization how i will create i had created one video on organization then uh, the next part i will create video on uh, how to create folder how to create project then in particular project how will create um, uh, resource then uh, uh, how you are enable with the billing part so that uh, in this uh, in, uh, video i mean uh, all video i'll create one by one so stay tuned to get uh, uh, related to so don't forget to like and subscribe my youtube channel to get more video and thank you for watching my youtube channel